What a lovely day. I'm so glad we decided to come in here. Mm. I feel so much better than I did three months ago. I just wasn't myself. Yeah. You're all grouch, Dad. Hi, oh. cheeky. <laughs> What's he like? Let's play football, Dad. Maybe in a minute, Sam. Come on, Dad, let's play football. I said no, just leave me alone. You used to love playing football with Sam. I know. This isn't right, love. You've been getting so moody lately. You just don't seem like yourself anymore. Susan had put her finger right on it. I wasn't me anymore. I wasn't working, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't even leaving the house. It was all getting too much for me. So she was the one who called the GP. Good afternoon, surgery. Oh, hello. Yes, I'd like to make an appointment, please. Susan had already told my physio that she was worried about my moods. People don't realise how life-changing a stroke is. Physiotherapy helped me to recover physically, but emotionally it was much more difficult. Oh, hello, Tom. Come in, sit down. So, how are you feeling and how has all this affected you? Well, as you know, when I had the stroke, I lost all the feeling down the right-hand side. Um, he asked me a load of questions, all about my appetite, energy levels, how I was sleeping, concentration, interest in things. The upshot apparently was that it all pointed to depression. He said he'd refer me to the local community mental health team. Well, that was a bit of a shocker. He added this to my electronic patient record, and that shared with everyone who's involved in my care, from the hospital to the people who see me at home, and of course my GP. Now that got me thinking. Um, I mean, how confidential is all of this? I don't just want just anyone being able to see it. Oh, no, of course. Um, a lot of attention is put on the security and confidentiality of your electronic records that we keep. He explained that for anyone to look at my records, they have to be registered to use an NHS smart card with a chip and pin, like a bank card. They'll only be able to see what they need to do their job. They've got to be involved in caring for me. And every time they look at a record, or add to it, or change it, their details get recorded. That all sounded pretty thorough. So there I was a couple of days later at the mental health centre. I had a long chat with a doctor. He used a smart card to log into my electronic patient record, just like the GP had said. Fortunately, I had some great people looking out for me. They could look at my electronic patient record at the click of a button, even if someone else is reading it at the same time. It used to be that it could take up to 24 hours to track a paper record. The best thing of all was that everyone knew where I was up to because they were all looking at the same information. So I'm not a grouch anymore, thanks to those guys. Am I, eh? Let's go and play some football. Come on, let's go. Thousands of Londoners suffer from the effects of a stroke every year. So having a joined up system where healthcare records can be shared by everyone involved in caring for you can really help your chances. It did the job for me.